is Max Marcoux and I pastor Elevation Chapel. My wife and I, Dee Dee, uh, started this church years ago with the hopes of helping people to connect with God just like we feel so fortunate that we got to experience. We both are uh, people of faith and we've had a lot of questions and, and through our journey of studying the Bible and and working through life with other people. Uh, we've grown a lot. We have four children, two boys, two girls, uh, and we just love the whole idea of community. When we open the church doors on Sunday morning, we're excited to see who comes through those doors. And we meet people from all over the world. And this is a safe place where people can come with their questions, their doubts, uh, with their hopes. We have found that every person has God-given gifts and when we get those people together, we're able to see those gifts, those talents, those very special things that each person has uh, to be shared amongst the community. It's just natural. People help one another, they care for one another, and all together we grow uh, both closer as human beings, but also I believe we grow closer to God through faith and hearing about each other's stories and, and their testimonies. I grew up right here in Massachusetts. I went to church every week. I just didn't really connect with what was being taught, uh, with the whole thing really. I just, I just went and I left and it didn't really have a, an impact on my life outside of the church walls. A friend of mine went to church and it's, his church seemed to make a real impact on his day-to-day -day life. So I asked him one day if I could go to church with him and when the preacher got up to speak, I felt like he was speaking right to me and I, I was in the back row. I was a shy kid, I was 17, and I was hanging on his every word. He opened up the Bible and he taught out of it and it was so useful. Everything he spoke, I felt like this can be applied to my life right now. And I never stopped uh, going to church after that. I just, I loved it. Through that, I started just volunteering, serving wherever I could. I, I loved getting to know uh, people that were older and wiser than me, hearing about how they navigated through life. Did not think I would ever uh, be a pastor. That was not my plan. Uh, but I really felt called one day to do that. I wrestled with it, to be honest, for a long time. I didn't really want to be a pastor. I felt like, oh, those pastors, they have such a, a huge responsibility. I, I don't want that. Uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't escape it. I just, it just kept feeling like that was what I was supposed to do, no matter how hard it was going to be. And so here we are, all these years later, and I have no regrets. It's been an amazing journey. When my wife and I started Elevation, we wanted it to be a church that was not connected to a denomination. What I wanted and what I believe is a big part of the story of Elevation is that if you grew up and you were unhappy with whatever kind of religion you were brought up in, I think it's easier for you to come through the doors of a non-denominational church because there's no baggage. This is a fresh start and many people that come to Elevation uh, found themselves either lost or discouraged uh, with the faith in which they were raised. So they, they come here and uh, there's a clean slate and each Sunday I teach out of the Bible and just like that, that first preacher I heard all those years ago that really um, impressed me with how practical God's teachings are. Uh, I've tried to, to follow that way of doing things ever since. There's an endless amount of life lessons to be learned in through the Bibles. So I, have, I have two of my old Bibles here. This is the first study Bible I ever got and uh, I duct taped it together many times. The second one uh, was the second 
uh, study Bible I got, and I've, I've had to duct tape that together a few times, and it looks like it needs some fresh duct tape. But I heard once that if you see someone that has a Bible and the Bible looks like it's falling apart, there's a good chance that's a sign that that person is not falling apart. And I can testify that I feel that, that is an accurate statement. The Bible is meant to be read, studied. Uh, God says meditate on it day and night and you will succeed. And we all want to help one another succeed in life. And the lessons and the, the wisdom that is in these pages, it's endless on how much you can study it and apply it to your life. I'll never be able to uh, get everything that's in here out of it. Uh, all these years, I, I just keep squeezing more and more wisdom out of the scriptures, and it just keeps giving fresh, fresh revelation, fresh insight, fresh. It brings me peace, it brings me hope. It, it helps me to make better decisions, and thankfully, it's something that can be shared each Sunday right here at church. Well, just like I like worn out Bibles, I love vintage guitars. And I'm fortunate enough to have a guitar that's older than me. It's well made. The case looks like it's been around the world about eight times. And I, I, that makes me happier uh, to, to look at than a, a brand new guitar. And this guitar, it, it used to be a gold top and someone stripped it down refinished it, gave it a sunburst finish. It's been played a lot, and I relate to that guitar. From It's been beaten up, refinished, and, and I've been beaten up and refinished. God has changed my life. And so every time I get that guitar out of that old beat up case, I think about how God has really helped me through so many storms. He's protected me and he's guided me and he's brought a lot of people into my life to help me along the way. And this guitar is an incredible instrument, but it still needs to be tuned every single day. And so do I. I need my attitude to be tuned up. I need my focus uh, to be directed in God's ways. There's wisdom in the Bible that wants to not just be something to be learned, but it's God wants us to live it out. And just like this instrument, this instrument isn't meant to just be looked at and admired, it's, it's, it's meant to be played.